Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, today we got a good video coming at you. We're gonna be talking 80 pound bows. I think we're probably gonna ruffle some feathers with this. Go some uncharted territories for a lot of people. So. so, thanks for joining us at Extreme Outfitters. I'm Zach, this is Cody, and we'll go ahead and open up this can of worms. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in this. So we get a lot of guys that come in our shop that are interested in shooting 80 pound bows. And a lot of guys come from other shops and um, they kind of have a- There's a stigma around 80 pound. There is a stigma around yeah. 80 pound bows. Um, you know, we get a lot of guys that come in here that uh, go to shops where people say, you can't correctly draw an 80 pound bow. You know, you don't need 80 pounds to, to kill an animal. Um, you'll hurt your shoulder. Tons and tons of different people coming in the shop that have, you know, these kind of these negative perceptions from other shops. This thing has a big fitness ordeal too around it, you know. Uh, you see a lot of the Joe Rogans and the Dudleys drawing the higher poundages and the Cameron Haynes. He's probably the most infamous one at he's pulling like 90 some odd pounds mm -hmm. on his weight. Yep. But I think what it boils down to is, you know, how, uh, it's not like strength competition, but it's how it feels for you, you know. I like the holding weight when I'm drawing 80 pounds or a bow like that, being I shoot a lot of target archery, so right. I, I like to hold about 17 pounds or so, so at around 80% or so on an 80-pound bow, that's what my holding weight is. Yeah. And if you can do it, why not do it? You Absolutely, know? and that's one of the things, too. The technology has really, really advanced. These 80-pound bows... are getting smoother every They're year. incredibly smooth. Yep. Um, you know, it's not like it used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's one of the things, if you're capable of drawing 80 pounds, why, why not? not? You get the ability to shoot a heavier arrow. Yep. Uh, you get more energy out of the bow. It, it comes down to one of those things, too. I think it requires you to shoot, which is the biggest thing in archery. Guys, you don't spend time behind the riser like you should. Absolutely. You put two days of work for an entire season thinking that you're going to be top-notch when you're kind of bottom of that barrel. You know, you're injuring animals, whatever you're chasing, whatever kind of game you're shooting. Um, and that's why I'm a big advocate for target archery. Right. Shoot 3D, you know. Shoot your 80-pound bow all summer long. I mean, if it's kind of like repetitions. Let's say we're squatting. You know, if we're chasing a higher max, we're not going to be maxing out every single week. We're going to start at like a totem pole, and we're going to work our way up. And that's kind of what I did with a 70-pound bow when I first started getting an archery. Bought a 70-pound bow, had it back down to about 60. Worked my way up to 70. That's what I'm probably going to do with an 80-pound bow. I'm going to probably start at somewhere around 73, 74 pounds and slowly work my way up until I'm very comfortable shooting it. At least 60 to 70 shots and not be completely drained at the end of the day. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, so that's one of the big things. It's definitely not something we encourage if you've never shot a bow, if you're new to archery, jump into it and go buy an 80-pound bow. Oh, yeah. No, it's not for everyone. And you're right. With archery, shot placement is everything. That is, you know. That's number one. That is more Rule important one. than anything else. So you're right. You don't have to have an 80-pound bow to kill an animal. Yep. Um, but like we said, you do get a little, there's a benefit to shooting an 80 pound bow, believe it, it or is. not, you know, with being able to shoot a heavier arrow, or if you have a little bit shorter draw length. Like me. So yep. Try to get everything you can out of that bow. So today we've got a couple bows here in front of us. We actually stock a lot of 80 pound bows. It's, there's a huge demand here in our shop. We've got a lot of meatheads here. We do. Yeah. And all of the guys here are very active, you know, being right outside of Camp Lejeune, mm -hmm. very physically fit very um, physically demanding, you know, everyone here is very active. Yep. Uh, so we, there is a huge demand for 80 pound bows in our shop. So we do stock a lot of them. Right out of the gate, we have the Hoyt RX-7 Ultra yep. in 80 pounds. We got it in the wilderness color right now. We That's got a, a very smooth bow too. Incredibly smooth, incredibly lightweight, uh, holds well. And we'll shoot these bows in just a minute for you guys. But we've also got the new Bowtech Revolt X80. This bow is special though. So this has actually got a reckoning limb pocket. It's got a target bow limb pocket from, from Bowtech on there. So I mean, that's a big deal. As far as your when you start putting those higher, more advanced limb pockets, as far as the tolerances, they're getting better. Uh, and that, it's based off a Revolt X platform, but that's an X80. So the limb deflection is greater, which is creating more poundage on it. But I'm excited because this is Bowtech's first 80 pound bow they've ever made. Right. As far as in the turn of 2010 and over. They made them in the past, I believe, but we haven't seen one in over a decade from them. So, moving on, we've also got Prime's inline five and eighty pounds. Do yes. we have any of the other inline series? In, we've in got them coming in. Um, we just don't. I haven't. I haven't seen any of them come in yet. Yeah, with the inline one and the inline three. We did sell a lot of black one series. The black series. We sold a lot. Sold a lot of those in eighty pounds, and we sold a few Nexuses in eighty pounds as well. So I'm kind of curious. 
I, we've all shot these bows. I mean, we mm -hmm. all know how they feel. Um, it, 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 what it comes down to is, you know, technique is a big thing as well when you're drawing a bow. Absolutely. When you get guys that they just want to rip down like that, that's asking for a labrum tear or something. And I'm not a doctor, but talking to the other physicians that we have in the area and stuff, when you start incorporating more muscle as far as your lats and your rhomboids and everything, as far as what you're supposed to to draw these bows back, you're going to find you can actually draw higher poundage bows. Right. So. And that's why it's so important when we pe when we put people on a bow, especially new shooters. Yes. We go through and we teach them how to draw a bow, how to anchor, yep. all of that. So they're not just back there just trying to yank this thing back. Because if you put a bow in someone's hand who doesn't know what they're doing, uh, it's it can got be a bad day. All Real sorts of bad yeah, all over quick. it. Um, what else do we got, Cody? Uh, we were going to test out the Matthews. I think we're going to do that later. We don't have the mods for it right now. That's a big demanding bow, the yeah. V3X33. So they don't have an 80 pound bow. They don't have an 80 pound bow. They come in hot though. Like we put a just we had the wrong mod on a bow earlier, um, as far as the draw length, and we were able. I put two twists in the cables, and it pulled it up to 80 pounds on our scale. So I mean they're coming in that 75 pound mod. You can get it to 80 like it's nothing. Uh, another uh, big demanding bow I think is an 80 pound levitate, which we, we can't got those even coming. we can't even keep them on the shelf here. I mean they they flow out of here so fast. The Evo XF. I know that's another bow that everyone's going to want to get their hands on in 80 pounds. And being that PSC made that new cam, the S2 cam, right. the small cam in 80 pounds, it's going to be a monster, but it's going to put out stupid numbers. I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be for the faint of heart to draw that bow back. It's not going to be an easy drawing bow, but from what we've shot so far, I'm really, first impressions, this bow really caught my attention right off the gate. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of the Revolt X80, but I also like this RX7 Ultra. It's just incredibly smooth. Yes. Yep. All the way through the draw cycle. Um, the inline five, and like I said, we'll shoot these in just a minute. It's stiff uh, all the way through the draw cycle, and it's, it's got a nice rock solid. Though. It is. It's, it's nice. smooth. It's not a giant dump. No, it not is at very all. flat through the curve, which I enjoy it because I hate a bow. And this is me personally. Some guys like it. I can't stand when a bow dumps because everything you rock out of your side picture, you're right. rocking out of alignment. I don't like that. Personally, when I buy a bow, that bow's already marked off the list. Right. And I like how they have the ability to change this let off option. This is a standard 85%. Mm -hmm. You can go down to an 80% peg and you can move this one peg forward and it actually becomes 75%. So you can change the value of how that bow feels dramatically. Gotcha. So we're gonna shoot all these bows at 29 inches. Yep. They're all right at 80 pounds. With a 460 grain arrow. So we'll put them through the chronograph to kind of give you an idea of what they're, the speeds they're putting out with that yep. arrow weight at 29 inches and then give you a look at what it's like drawing these bows you know and we'll give you our personal opinion on how they feel what the draw cycle feels like yes so let's go we'll get the chrono out and go shoot them for you we'll be back all right guys so we've got the new hoyt 2022 rx7 and 80 pounds we're going to go ahead and put it through the chronographs see what the its speeds is putting out and get a feel for the draw cycle so it's super smooth all the way through Actually, incredibly smooth. Two ninety-two. All right, moving on. We've got the Prime Inline Five at eighty pounds. Let's see what this thing feels like. So it's a little bit stiffer, but it's smooth all the way through. Solid back wall. 304. We were not expecting that. All right, guys, we got the Revolt X80 here, 29 inches. This is in comfort. Um, I am shooting a hinge with this, so I'm probably going to draw this a little bit funky to start with. 460 grain arrow. Let's see what we're doing. Oh, yeah, very smooth, man. Good back wall, stable. Two eighty-seven, so it's right in line with the Hoyt. Uh, the Prime is definitely taking the win on this. I am kind of impressed with that, actually. It's a very fast bow. With performance, you gain about probably ten to twelve feet a second. So we're just going to guesstimate. Got two eighty-seven. It's probably going to be pushing two ninety-nine. So what my guess would be on that. So we're back from the range. Um, Cody, what'd you think? The Prime impressed me the most. Speed-wise, speed yeah. yeah absolutely. I, didn't, I didn't shoot it, but I've shot it at my draw length at 27 and a half, 28. It feels good. Yeah. Um, the Bowtech, 
smoothest out of all of these I've shot so far, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, it's super smooth. I, I agree with you on that. Um, I like the RX-7 just based off the draw cycle. It's smooth all the way through it. Oh, there's yeah. no dump. There's no anything weird with it. It's it's solid all the way through. Yeah. And it's got a good back wall. But yeah. so does the inline five, though. Yeah. The limb stop is very hard to beat. You know? It is. Yeah. I didn't expect it to put up the numbers it did. I'll just be honest with you from the other speed tests we've done, like with the inline one. Right. But the inline five, when it hit, when it went over 300, I was like, kind of kind of struck me back a little bit. Um, the smoothness of the Bowtech, I mean, at 29 inches. Now, keep in mind, that's about an inch, inch and a half longer than what I usually draw. And, I mean, it was not a struggle to pull that thing out, you know. I mean, that, that that's pretty impressive to me, yep. even though it was on comfort. But, and I've said this in other videos, Bowtech does have the best tuning solution on Absolutely. the market. The deadlock, it, it, you can't beat it. Um, the Revolt X was a very proven platform. I'm kind of this. I'm glad they decided to still keep that in the lineup as far as just beef up the limbs, put the new limb pocket on there, keep the deadlock. I mean, it's a that's a shooter, man. Yeah, and shooter. you know the whole goal with this video is to kind of get past the stigma of 80 pound bows. Yep. You know, and one of the big things is like Cody was saying. You know, he's drawing a bow that's an inch, inch and a half longer than what he's supposed to, uh, which in most cases can be dangerous when yeah. you're drawing such a heavy pound bow. But when you go into a shop and you get fitted correctly for a bow, you'll be surprised at how smooth and comfortable these heavier poundage bows really do feel. Indeed, and I tell everyone that's new to shopping archery, archery is very tailor-made. It's like going to a men's warehouse. You're going to get fitted and ID'd for a bow. Absolutely. Like you're, the whole process and the goal should be that bow is meant for you. You know, it sticks out. Um, and we tell people test drive these bows like cars, man. Put them, run them through the ring or shoot them at different drawings. See yep. what feels good, you know? Because if you go to a shop and you do this tape stuff, it kind of gets you in the ballpark. It is not the end all right. be all. It is not. I don't, I'll argue with anyone all day about that. Yep. I tape out at like 25 when I do this. If I shoot a 25 inch bow, I'm like right here. I mean, it, taping is kind of, it's a median scale for and that that's, kind of stuff. And that's funny. We're in the middle of shooting this bow. I was just talking to one of our customers over our website, yeah. you know, about going in shops and actually testing things. And, you know, one of his complaints was, some of the shops you couldn't test all the product that's crazy that was there and that's, that's one crazy, thing about man. our shop is you can come in and shoot any bow on our wall any bow. you can test any of the releases any of the anything on our, our shop you can come yeah. in and test it before you buy it um and we always encourage that you know one of our big things is making sure you leave you know and have a good experience especially if it's your first time in an archery shop oh man that you know? i think that's critical i think that's the most important yeah. for customer i mean every customer is important but if you're going to pay attention and give someone some really fine details Give it to that new guy that's yeah. never drawn a bow back. Give them the time. Give them your time because more than likely, I'll give you an example. We had a guy buy one of the diamonds because, you know, he just wanted to get into it. Comes in a few days later, he's like, man, I'm thinking I want to upgrade my bow. And it's because he, he caught that archery bug. You know, we spent the time with him. And now he wants to go to a flagship, and he hasn't had the bow for a week. I mean, and I'm like, shoot your bow, man, for a while. Just hold on. Just hold on. Let's, let's see what happens, you know, in the summer. There might be some companies dropping some things out or – you might, you know, find, play around with some more bows and see what you like. Yep. But, uh, yeah, spend that extra time. And that's that's a shop tip, I think. A lot of guys, you know, they kind of bull rush customers through the process. And if you take your time and slow down, nine times out of ten, that customer is probably honestly going to spend more money with you. Yeah. So, you know, um, like I said, we're, we're hoping to get past that stigma on the 80-pound bows. We definitely, if you're interested in 80-pound bows, come on to our shop. Yeah. We've got a yeah. bunch in stock, and it's something we stock regularly. Um, you know, and if you're dealing with a shop that, you know, there are some shops out there that refuse to order special order 80 pound bows for customers. Um, but like, like we said, if you're interested at all, come by our shop, you know, stop in, talk to one of the guys here. If me and Cody aren't here, um, we get one of the 80 of pound bows in your hands and actually get a feel for it. And, and they all do have a different feel. Um, but like I said, the technology has advanced so much. I mean, they are incredibly smooth and manageable for most people. It comes down to efficiency, too. Like, um, you know, these these bows, I would probably put them to equivalent, man. Like, if you were shooting a 70-pound bow five or six years ago, it's like shooting a 60-pound, I mean, bow now. You know, as far as a 70-pound, or excuse me, 70-pound bow five or six years ago, it's like pulling one of these 60-pounders back, or 70-pounders back, I mean. But it's got the efficiency of like a 60 pound bow bit, did back in the day. So if like we're, say, we have a bow five or six years ago, 60 pounds, you can shoot a 50 pound bow in today's world and get the same efficiency. Absolutely, out of it. yes. So 70 pound bow, you can shoot a 60 pound bow today and get the same efficiency five, 10 years ago. Out right. Of it. So an 80 pound bow today, they are, they're the most efficient machines I think we've got 
in archery at the moment. I mean, you're kind of, you're wheeling in territory, you know, where you're going to have to, of course, upgrade spine and stuff like that, get better shafts as far as a heavier spine. Um, and then the equipment that goes on themselves, man, everything's getting top notch now. It is. So it's not for everybody, but there yeah. are a lot of people out there and interested in it interested in shooting them and that's one why we decided to cover the topic today you know we want to get past that so Cody anything else go to a shop you don't feel comfortable shooting 80 pounds ask them to see if they'll turn it down for you yeah you know turn it take two or three turns at it see what it feels like and don't feel like you have to rip that thing back feel it out you know feel hey the full draw side. yeah 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 like I we get some uh, one of our good buddies Austin Austin can rip the limb pockets out of a bow if he wanted to he really really could yep. But uh, and that's just how he draws a bow. I mean, he gets him back easy, like it's nobody's business. But I'm I'm the exact opposite of a person. I try and take in my time and feel, see what that draw cycle feels like. Can I do this 50, 60 times over again, you know, and not be dead at the end of the day? Right. Can I still work out and right. shoot my bow? That's one of the big things. If you can only draw this bow back a handful of times, yep. you need to step it down and go down to that lighter weight bow. You definitely don't want to be over bowed. Exactly. Um, that'll put a bad taste in your mouth right out of the gate. Uh, and you just won't have a good shooting experience. That's what. That's ultimately what it comes down to. What is what? Ex, what kind of experience do you want to have when you're shooting your bow? So. Absolutely. Yep. Cool. Other than that, man, there's a ton of 80 pound options. I think everybody now in the market, as far as manufacturers, covers an 80 pound bow. Yeah. Um, I think Bear Bear's the only company I don't yeah, think that sure. does does that. But um, we've got some other popular bows that are coming in at 80 pounds that we haven't featured in this video. And stay tuned, and we'll get it on. We'll get on with those bows here shortly. Yeah. So make sure you head over to the website, extremeoutfitters.com. Like we say in every video, our inventory is live. All of our bows are up there, even the ones you can't buy in the shop. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be dropping usually about a video a week. Um, so stay up to date on that. Uh, make sure you're following our social media chat or platforms because yeah. we got some new things we're getting ready to drop, especially on Instagram and Facebook. Some quick tips and stuff for you guys. Yeah. Uh, and if you're in the area or within driving distance, make sure you check out the calendar, the events page on our website. We've got lots of indoor events coming up. Uh, we got a chili cook off in oh, a big three spot fun. shoot. Yeah, that's a charity event. So. It's a charity event we'll yep. be doing. And then we've got our indoor league scheduled and we've got our 3D series. We got some new targets coming in. We some do. New Delta ASA Fresh targets. foam for you guys to yep. be shooting here shortly. So. It'll be a good time. Yeah, absolutely. So until next time, appreciate it, guys.